Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CLPS. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30-minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, quite the eventful day on this one, not only from the price action standpoint, but you look down here at the volume and crazy volume on the day, crazy price movement. And as of now, things are, are, are looking pretty shaky for the, the undisciplined people. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just do a little recast here of this app, you know, mid-afternoon. Very, very nice bounce. No doubt about it. I can see why people would be buying. It made sense, all of that. But then all of a sudden, a nasty, nasty move and just down the price went from that area. So when I say undisciplined, people that weren't using stop losses and such, if they're still holding, uh, then those people are underwater quite a bit. And in after hours right now, the price is actually down below 10. Now, the tricky part with that is you still have all of after hours today. And then on Thursday, you have all of pre-market. So where exactly is, gonna, is the price going to open up? That all remains to be seen. But the pointer being uh, that that was a, a very nasty move and that going forward, this area right here at $10.50 is going to be important. As of now, if the price opens up down below there, which is look, looking like it might, then this that would now be considered actually that first key level of resistance. And that's just based on the uh, foundational rule in charting, which states when areas of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So like I said, assuming the price does open up down below 1050, that's going to be that initial area of resistance. And then the next key area of resistance, if it continues to try to bounce back up right there at the $13 mark. As far as areas of support are concerned, Next key level down there at eight. And I would consider eight very, very important. And I'm not saying this will occur, but I mean, if the price goes down to eight and then just continues on down through there, think about that. That would then essentially be putting the price right back to where it was or said another way. That would imply that the price exploded upwards to then go right back to where it was. I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but that's not exactly a, a sign of any sort of genuine power, true strength or anything like that. So keep your eye on those technical areas going forward. But yeah, as of right now, things are looking pretty shaky. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.